If somebody were to get breast implants, it should be a prerequisite, like they should all get their hormones tested before going through with this, because then you would see like, hey, I have like crazy whacked out estrogen and things, which is likely to lead to problems. Oh, it gets more complicated. <laughs> so everybody who has that detoxification ability now has to look at their exposures. So we used to go to the doctor and get like a blood count mm -hmm. and see if we're anemic. And now I'm the plastic surgeon who checks your toxin levels for uh, mold toxins or heavy metals or environmental toxins. So don't use parabens. Make sure your products go through the environmental working group. I know y'all know this, but I'm gonna reiterate that because you get too many chemicals through products for women that cause and wreak havoc on your hormones, basically. So that combined with, we look at stool testing because a lot of gut health issues are intimately associated with this. Food sensitivities, I look at all those tests, plus we have some new things. I mean, so many people come to me and say, oh, Dr. Whitfield, all my blood work's normal. I mean, they just come with reams of paper of blood work. Those tests, Alex, haven't changed since I've been alive, and I'll be 55 next week. So it's not one of those things where, as especially, we're actually helping. So when we look at metabolomics and these new things that are coming, like more genetic testing, now you can start to pull back, you know, the curtain, if you will, to understand what's going on at a cellular level.